Hello, Nation students. It's Mr. Gallagher and Mr. Silverman. We have our Nation lesson for today. And I know you've been working in this book already with other teachers. I know my nation on the front cover with the seal. It's called the Great Seal of the United States of America. And then on this page is the page that tells about where you live. United States of America and Washington and King County and Seattle and the Bryant neighborhood. I know you did work on this page before. Map work. And this page. You spent some time talking about branches of government. Today we're going to talk about the buildings and show you the buildings for the government. For the executive branch, that's the president and vice president. And then the Congress, or legislative branch. There was this big map in the middle. We might get to that today. And then there was the word work you did and the song. And then in our work today, we're going to look at these three pages. It's page 11, looks like that. And page 12, looks like that. And page 13 looks like that. You know, usually if I'm going to be talking about something, it's about buildings and structures. I talk about buildings and structures when we've traveled the world, and I very often talk about buildings and structures when we talk about the nation. It's something I, I like to investigate and learn about and then teach about. So buildings and structures are on each of the pages. The White House is on page 11. That's for the executive branch or the president. The Capitol is on page 12, and that's for the legislative branch. And the Supreme Court is on page 13, and that's for the judicial branch. We'll start with page 11. And see so if you have page 11 ready with your pencil. Having your pencil ready. And then you will need purple punctuation, red to underline kindergarten words. I'll give you a hint. Lots of the lines are missing kindergarten words. And then, if you're ready, you're on page 11. And Mr. Silverman is going to work on this page with you now. Mr. Silverman, are you ready right now? Yes, I am. Okay, and I have the tools right here. He's going to be right here and showing that to you so you'll be ready to work. For this piece of work, students are using their pencil. <clears throat> I'm going to use a marker so that it is easier for students to see the words that I write on the page, but the tool that you need is your pencil. This is called the White House. <clears throat> this is a building with white outside and it has columns, four columns here. The White House is the building where the president lives and works. Let's start with the first sentence. The first sentence starts with, the president lives, mm, works, oh, the president lives, mm, works, Mm, mm, White House. Okay. Thinking about the first word that goes here. The president lives. Mm, oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the word. And we'll add that word first. The president lives and works. Mm, mm, White House thinking, what words could go there? The president lives mm, and works mm, mm, White House. Yeah, first one, at. The president lives and works at. The president lives and works at mm, White House. Right, the.
The president lives and works at the White House. <clears throat> Next sentence. Mm -hmm. Find mm -hmm. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest. Mm, Washington, D.C. Okay. So that's the address, the place where the building is located. And this is a sentence about finding and knowing where the White House is. First word, that's the word you. You mm, find, thinking to yourself what that word might be, you mm, find, mm -hmm. yeah, can, you can find <clears throat> mm, mm, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest. You can find it. IT You can find it mm, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Yeah at You can find it at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest mm, Washington, D.C. This word <clears throat> is a word that helps us know where this address is. This address, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, is hmm, Washington, D.C. <clears throat> yeah, in. I am. People all over the world <clears throat> know that address. The address where the White House is, the place where the president lives and works. <clears throat> Thanks. <clears throat> Next up, we have to add purple punctuation to this page. <clears throat> First sentence, the president lives and works at the White House. Oh, there's a period. Adding purple punctuation period there. You can find it at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest in Washington, D.C. <clears throat> Curvy comma goes here after the word Washington. And we need one, we need a period at the end of this sentence here, because that's the end of a full thought. And we also need one after the D, because that's an abbreviation. It means District of Columbia. It's the other Washington. <clears throat> Adding that here. You can whisper read, read that page to yourself later. Next step, meeting our red. Underlining kindergarten words on this page. <clears throat> As Mr. Gallagher said, many of the words with the line, those were kindergarten words. Go ahead, underline the ones that you know using kindergarten red. <clears throat> I 
I'm going to underline mine too. When you finish, flash me with fingers how many kindergarten words you counted. <clears throat> I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kindergarten words. on this page. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there were nine kindergarten words on this page. Thanks. <clears throat> the White House. <clears throat> Turning to the next page, page 12, that's ten and two more. This is the capital. Big dome on top. <clears throat> the U.S. Congress works in this building, the U.S. Capitol. It has senators in it. Washington has two senators. Every state has two senators. They're on this page. <clears throat> Starting with the sentence part of this page. Missing word at the beginning of this sentence. Mm, U.S. Congress works. Mm, mm, U.S. Capitol. First word we're looking for. Mm, U.S. Congress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's the word the. Adding that in first. <clears throat> the U.S. Congress works. Mm -hmm. U.S. Capitol. I could say in, I could say at, I'm going to write the word at. A-T, the U.S. Congress works at the U.S. Capitol. Read this sentence, the U.S. Cap US Congress works at the U.S. Capitol. <clears throat> Adding purple punctuation first. After U and after S, there are pieces of purple punctuation we have to add because this is an abbreviation for a United States. After U, U.S. adding a purple punctuation. After S, adding a piece of purple punctuation. <clears throat> U.S. Congress works at the, oh, there it is again. U.S. Capitol, adding purple punctuation after the U and S here. Same abbreviation, United States, U.S., and then at the end of the sentence, capital, because that's a full flat. <clears throat> that building 
is called the capital. People all over the world know that building. <clears throat> Next step in this sentence, underlining kindergarten words. Take a moment to do that yourself. I'm going to do it too. Flash me with fingers how many you saw. Okay. In that sentence, I counted one, two, three kindergarten words. The, at, and then the or the again here. <clears throat> Washington State has two senators. <clears throat> Their names are Senator Murray and Senator Cantwell. <clears throat> Senator Patty Murray and Maria Cantwell. This sentence says, Washington State has mm, women senators. <clears throat> Counting the senators that you can see in these pictures, and then flash with fingers how many senators you counted in these in this picture. Okay, yeah, that's right. There are two women senators from the state of Washington. Adding that word to T W O two. Then adding purple punctuation in this sentence. Washington State has two. Women senators. Purple period at the end. <clears throat> and in the picture part below the pictures, it says U.S. Senator Patty Murray and U.S. Senator Maria Cantwell. After the U and U.S. here, purple punctuation, and after the S, purple punctuation, U.S., United States. And then same thing, this one says U.S. Senator Maria Cantwell, adding U and S, United States, period after each. And in this sentence, Washington State has two women senators. There are zero kindergarten words. <clears throat> this was the page about the Capitol building. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Turning to the next page. That's this page. This building is called the Supreme Court. That's the name of this building. This is the building where judges or justices work. This is a building, ooh, like the White House. This building has columns. And as I said, this is called the U.S. Supreme Court. This is where justices work. <clears throat> Looking at this sentence, 
This says U.S. Supreme Court. Oh, there's that abbreviation again. United States. Adding purple punctuation there. Now, one after the U, one after the S, U.S. Justices work here. Mm, help with U.S. laws. Thinking about what word might go there. Justices work here. Mm, help with U.S. laws. The word we're going to add there is the word to. T-O. Justices work here to help with U.S. laws. <clears throat> Adding purple punctuation on this sentence. U.S. That's that abbreviation. Purple punctuation. And then end of the sentence after the word laws. Adding purple punctuation there. <clears throat> Justices work here to help with U.S. laws. And then please add a red line now under kindergarten words that you see in that sentence, justices work here to help with U.S. laws. And I'll do the same. <clears throat> Flashing with fingers how many kindergarten words you saw in that yeah. sentence? Yeah. Just the one. Two, U.S. Supreme Court justices work here to help with U.S. laws. Remembering, justices, those are judges, but that's what we call judges that are at this level. Let's review the pages that we worked on today, looking at different important buildings to our nation. Remembering, this is the White House, a building that many people know, where the president lives and works. Then, we learned about the Capitol building. This is where U.S. Congress works. We talked about the two Washington senators, Senator Murray and Senator Cantwell. And then this was the page where we looked at the Supreme Court, where justices or judges work. <clears throat> and now, now would be a good moment. Close your book. Set it aside. That was our new work today for I Know My Nation. Thanks for coming back to do this work. And I enjoyed teaching and talking about the important buildings. White House. Capitol Building. Supreme Court. Some important buildings in our country the U.S. or United States. Thanks for coming back. It was nice working with you all. Bye now. <clears throat>